Let's face it, one of the most celebrated performers of all time has to be Elvis Presley. But would you guess that the king himself has deep connections to the Jewish people? And some would even consider Elvis to be Jewish? Okay, follow me. Elvis grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, in a boarding house that he shared with Rabbi Alfred Fruchter and his wife. So Elvis and his family lived on the bottom floor while the rabbi and his family lived upstairs. Now, as an adult, Elvis recounted that during those years, he acted as the rabbi's Shabbos Goy. You know, the non-Jew who performs prohibited tasks of work for Jews on the Sabbath, such as turning the lights on and off, those types of things. Well, Elvis felt such an affinity for the rabbi that he even made a donation to a Jewish organization in his honor. And get this, in 1972, Elvis famously performed at a concert in Salt Lake City, Utah, while prominently wearing a high on his oversized necklace. But are you ready? How would Rabbi Fruchter have felt if he knew that his Shabbos Goy, Elvis Presley, might actually have been Jewish himself? Follow me. Elvis's maternal great-great-grandmother, Nancy Burdine, was Jewish. So Nancy's daughter gave birth to Dahl Mansell, who gave birth to Gladys Smith, who gave birth to Elvis. So since under Jewish law, Judaism passes through the mother, that would mean that Elvis Presley was Jewish. And are you ready for this one? When Elvis's mother Gladys died, Elvis made sure to include a Star of David on her headstone. So the king is actually Jewish? I bet you're all shook up over that one. Until next time, that's all for this edition of Would You Guess?